Now you have to get it up above a certain speed, right? Yeah, go free. Motion DSP has been supporting the law enforcement industry for over 15 years with their robust suite of video and audio redaction and enhancement software. Forensic enhancement software allows users to quickly process any video file format using patented super resolution algorithms and enhancement filters. Get forensically valid evidence from low quality video in minutes instead of hours. In just three easy steps, import, enhance, and export. Spotlight was built specifically for redaction and was designed to work with video from any camera source. Using the motion DSP algorithms and object tracking technology, Spotlight automates the process of blurring faces and other identifiable information, saving users countless hours compared to the manual frame-by-frame -frame redaction. And I can tell you, it takes forever to blur faces. All right, so here's the free stuff. Motion DSP is offering the Not Squad members a special offer of a free one-week trial and 10% off any annual subscription with code NOD10. That's NOD10. If you'd like to know more about this awesome software that streamlines your workflow, click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to the video. She said to meet her up around here. I don't see her. Oh, oh hold on. There she is. Uh, she had to go put it up on top of the curb just to show off. Though. Oh, yeah. It's the way we like it, baby. This car's cool, too. Yeah. No, this car's real cool, too. We love it. But, uh... It's your lock. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Hey. Oh, yes. What's up, Nick? Me like you. Nice to see you. Delata. What's going on? Delata. Yeah. You taking him to the track? Absolutely. Can I come? Not a chance. Sorry, bro. So, but your car was awesome. Oh, appreciate Thanks, that. Man. All right, appreciate Have it. Have a good one. Yeah. Have fun. Peace out. Bye. Now that the riffraff is gone. Yeah, it's thank just... goodness. <laughs> it's just you and me. That's it. I'm Officer Kristen Zalata from the Dave Police Department. I've been employed with Dave for about seven years now. I'm in our community outreach unit. I get to deal as a liaison with the community, and I get the luxury of riding this thing. Woo, and she's <laughs> a beauty. Yes, she is. So uh, you want to run her down a little bit? Yeah, let me give you a tour. This is one of one custom 2023 Jeep Gladiator. We use it as a recruiting tool. We're parked at the Broward College Institute of Public Safety, or it's the home of the Broward County Police Academy. You normally park the vehicle out here? You know, three days a week, we come out here for recruiting with the agility and swim test, and we do our best to recruit the best candidates. In the front, we have a custom bumper with a 9500 Pro Series Rough Country winch and the Angry Eyes grill. As you can see on this bumper, we have takedown lights here and here, emergency lights here and here, and on the hood, we have a light bar. It's gonna make for a really good light show. Moving along, we have the Fox suspension system, a four and a half inch lift, 37 inch Toyo tires, fuel rims with this blue touch that really make these rims pop. As I mentioned before, this truck is used as a recruiting tool. We have recruiter on the hood, and U.S. flag. I love it. Make our way back. We have an entire wrap with the U.S. flag, with our insignia, and are now hiring. So recruiting, now hiring. Yeah. Oh, there's more. But there's more. There's you more. scan this QR code, uh -huh. you'll take you to our website, davidpdjobs.com. So if it wasn't clear, by the recruiting and the now hiring, you got to join our family, apply today, <laughs> scan me. We might be hiring. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, so why don't you try that QR code out? See if it works. Before we go to the back, you gotta check out these running boards with our light. Remember, later we're gonna have a light show. As you can see on the back, we still have Debbie Police to show this as a police car. Join our family, recruiter, still with the USA theme. QR code for those behind us, Eco Diesel. And here's our handle. If you're not following us on our Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, please do so. And here's the hitch when we have to tow trailers and other equipment. The passenger side is completely identical to the driver's side. Great overall rundown of the outside of the truck. Now, I heard you mention earlier that we might be going out to that track over there. Please tell me we're about to do that. Please tell me. No, actually, this is a Jeep Gladiator. We're gonna take the roof off and then we're gonna go to the track. Let's go! <laughs>
So usually, we stop somewhere, we talk about the inside of the vehicle, and we do some cool B-roll, but what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna go right here on this driving range because this is basically what, the obstacle course of what the recruits have to go through in order to pass and pass the academy? Absolutely, this is where they learn their aggressive driving training um, and meet all the minimum requirements. I figured, hey, why don't we do some of these obstacles? I don't know if you could do it in the Gladiator. I mean, we can try. We could try. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do some of these obstacles and run down the interior and then talk a little bit about what you guys use this Jeep uh, for and then what are some of the requirements in order to become a Davy police officer. All right, so the interior, still a Jeep Gladiator, pretty stock, speedometer is all the same, GPS, you have all your controls here. Interestingly, you have the window controls right here. Reason being, because these doors come off. Ah, uh, makes sense. Here's our gear shifters, and the biggest modification is gonna be our control panel. We'll get into this at the light show, though. Oh, that's right, the light show, baby. Can't wait. Yep. And then, in the back. No cage. No cage back there. Nope. Nobody jumping back there, no prisoners going back there. No prisoners going back there. It's not safe for transport. Do you guys respond to calls in this vehicle? We do not respond to calls for service in this vehicle. It's mostly just for recruiting events and those purposes, but if a call for service does come out, we will respond because we are still law enforcement officers. Nice. So this is the track. Yep. Recruits have to do some certain uh, obstacles. Can you show us some of those obstacles? Sure I can. All right, here we go. Here we have the serpentine. Yep. The old, good old serpentine. So for this, we have some massive tires. We'll see if we can make it happen. All right, let's see. You can make it happen. I got faith. Oh, yes. The shuffle steer. Oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. Every day she's shuffling. Oh, yes. All right. Like a pro. Let's go backwards. Backwards? <laughs> for the serpentine. serpentine. That old music gets me going. Say, And her mirror is going old school. Old school. That's right. Backup cameras don't work. Nope. Crushing it in the Gladiator. Here we go. Listen, I know some people that can't do that in a in a Vic <laughs> or an Explorer. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so next in the obstacle course, we're gonna do the emergency stop mm -hmm. or the speed to stop. We're gonna go as fast as we can and stop as hard as we can. Here we go. Now you have to get it up above a certain speed, right? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> that was successful. <laughs> Smooth, you still got it. Absolutely. All right, so obstacle course, that's one of the things you have to do in order to pass the police academy. Correct. Let's talk about applying with you guys because that's what this vehicle is all about, right? What's some of the criteria and what are the requirements? So some of the minimum criteria are you to be a U.S. citizen, mm -hmm. 19 years of age or older. Mm -hmm. For us, we do require an associate's degree or higher or uh, military service okay. or some years in law enforcement experience. But the biggest kickers are you have to have a swim test, CJ bat, and obstacle agility course. Okay, and that obstacle agility course is over there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You, you should, should do, do it. it. Mm, you, you should, should do, do it. it. <laughs> okay, you, you, should you want me to do it? do it? Absolutely. What do you guys think? Should I do the obstacle course? <laughs> All right. All right, I never back down to a challenge. Let's go, baby. Nick versus the agility time. You must complete in less than two minutes or he fails. Here we go. Oh, how about you, Bob? Ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get set, go. Up and over, up and over. There you go, there you go. Run down, run down. Over. Over again. Over the next one. Through the door, through the door. Go, go, go. There you go, there you go. Oh. Yep. Going in there, going in there. Monkey bars, monkey bars. Keep 
going. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Over halfway done, come on. Now we got the lung. There you go. Remember, time is of the essence here. Remember, up in three. One, two, three, go, go. Over to the right. Run, run, run. All the way back. Do another circle. Come on. Job. I just missed all the haters. I knew they wanted me to fall and get hurt. I fell. 50% of that was true. Oh, <laughs> but I didn't get hurt. I got back up. And I passed. Let's go. So where do I apply at? Let's go. You could apply, but the problem is uh, you got disqualified. For what? There's a door down here. Why? And you were, it. you were supposed to close it. Look at those battle wounds, baby. I am battle tested. You earned them. Technically, I'm a failure. Well, I didn't necessarily give you the best disclaimer about closing the door. Oh. So I, so I think you might, we'll give you a pass. A pass on technicality? Pass on technicality. I'll take the participation award. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we headed now? Well, since we're on Broward College campus and we still have to do a light show. That's right. I'm gonna take you over to the garage. That's so it's dark and we can really see these things light up. Let's go! Here she is. As I mentioned before, this vehicle is not used for regular road patrol functions, but need be if we had an emergency situation like a flooding. This is a high water vehicle, so it's outfitted with all the lights necessary to do the job. Let's start at the front. As you can see, we have takedown lights here and here, red and blues here, here, and on the hood, and also on the windshield. So it's light bar in the hood, a little unconventional. It's necessary for lower sedan vehicles to have better visibility, because they likely wouldn't see these ones up here in the windshield. What we got there? So here, obviously, to give some attention to the wheel wells, we got a little light in here. All right, I see what you got going on there. It's a nice little show you got going on in there. Got a little show. Well, let's say it's St. Patrick's Day. Boom. Boom, the luck of the Irish, all right. <laughs> So here on the side skirts, you have more visibility with lights. In emergency, you'll see us clearing through, especially through an intersection. Our back tires still have the magic and the sexiness. All right, a little party going on in the back tires too. Up here in our rear windshield, we have additional lights. All the way to the back, we have more red and blues flashing. These lights over here in the bumper, if I were to go in reverse, would illuminate. So you're continuing with the tears in the back. Absolutely. Love it. Here's our wheel and control system. It also subs as our PA system, and I'm gonna show you how you work the lights. You've got one, which would control just the rears coming on. You have two, which would control all the lights coming on. And then you have three, which will have all lights and sirens come on. But a safety feature is when the car's on park, the sirens do not stay on. So no wee wee's while we're in park, right? That's correct. Yeah, all right, you like that little sound effect? I did. <laughs> all right. All right, so on here we also have cruise lights. Mm -hmm. The cruise light function is basically a steady burn of the red and blue lights, shows our presence, and that we're here in town if anyone needs us. And then we also have our scene lights, which would make every light turn white. If we need to illuminate a scene for whatever reason, this is the one you use. Well, that was a fun one. It was. I got a little battle wounds for this one. Yeah. That was the first time on police cars. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Awesome ride, Jeep yeah. Gladiator. And guys, if you saw the last episode where we gave away challenge points, we're re-upping and giving away five challenge points this time. All you have to do is go to Instagram, go to at Davey Police, find this trailer video. We collab together, Nick Off Duty and them. Comment in the comment section and you'll be eligible to win one of those challenge coins. 
Again, thank you. And do you have anything to say to the Knot Squad? Well, if you couldn't tell, we're hiring. They're hiring, guys. Go over to DebbiePDJobs.com, submit an application, and we'll be happy to have you. Do you know how to sign off? By that look, that's a no. And cut here. Action. I'll see you when I see you. If I see you. Take six. Action. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you. Well then, we'll see you.